So these are the carnivorous domestic entertainment robots. They're a series of five. And what they're doing is really challenging a lot of our preconceptions about robots. Uh, there's quite a lot of press about robots. We've been imagining robots in our lives for a number of years. These are really not uh, yet to materialise in any meaningful form. We have vacuum cleaner robots, that's about as good as it gets. It's very, very different to what we imagine. So what we've done is, is sort of analyse why that might be and pitch this series of robots to really challenge, to question uh, a lot of the stereotype ideas. And we initially uh, started interacting with Bristol Robotics Lab who were uh, uh, developing microbial fuel cell powered robots. So that's, that's a device that turns organic matter into electrical energy. We started exploring the idea of the carnivorous side of them, how they get the prey, what kind of things they might eat. Um, and turning that into a form of entertainment. But also we really wanted the objects to, to, to fit into the home. So the aesthetics are very, very different. The way they look, the way they operate, the way we interact with them are very different. The, the one on the wall here is the flypaper robotic clock. What we have here is a belt. The white thing is a belt. That's covered in honey. So it operates just like standard flypaper. Flies would be attracted to that honey. They'd land on the belt, get stuck, as you can see, it's moving downwards very, very slowly. And right underneath here, there's a blade. And the blade scrapes off any insects that have become stuck to the honey. They fall into the microbial fuel cell underneath. And this is the device that turns that organic matter into electrical energy. That electrical energy is stored in a capacitor bank and then is made available to a small LCD clock. And the motor at the top, which is turning the flypaper, they the main aim for them is not to, to exist in the homes, it's really to question and for us to, to, to provoke thought about what we want technology to do in our lives.